So in the previous video, we made an enclosure. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to manipulate the enclosure to a different shape. So we now have a enclosure with the cylinder and we are now going to change the diameter of this cylinder. So as you can see with the pull tool selected, you have a line, a jagged line that runs across the cylinder. And once you click on it, an R appears. This allows us to enter the dimension so that we can adjust the size of this cylinder. It is currently 4.5 and we want to make it 10.58. As you can see, the diameter has now changed of the cylinder. What we are going to do now is actually change the size of our enclosure. So with the pull tool selected, we are going to select one face on the right hand side, hold our middle mouse button down, swivel around to the left, hold control and select the other face. This allows you to decrease the size of both faces in one go. I'm going to click and drag inwards, hold down space and type 8.36. As you can see, this has changed the size of our enclosure. We are now going to use a different tool called the draft tool within the pool menu. And this allows us to create a, a different shape for our enclosure. So I'm now going to select the draft tool and then select the face which I would like two faces to pivot around. So with this, this selected, I'm then going to select the other faces I'd like it to pivot, hold control and select the opposite. Then a value comes up, which is actually a degrees that you would like the pivot to be. So I'm going to type in 16 here. And as you can see, the draft tool has actually changed the shape of our enclosure. Now to change the size of our enclosure, what we're going to do is with the pull tool selected, select the back face and drag inwards. Hit space and type 35. What we're going to do now is click the face, hold control and also the outer edges. What this will do is bring the enclosure outwards with keep within keeping the edges. So as you can see, it keeps the edges as a squared off item. So I'm going to hit my spacebar and type 45. If we didn't select the edges, then it would have carried on this pivoted motion outwards. What we can do now is edit the edges as we've done in previous videos to create rounds. What I'm going to do first is these two rounds. I'm going to select just the edge. Control tool held down. And I'm going to round these edges by 50, five zero. And that create, creates a nice round. What I'm then going to do is select all four outer edges. And I'm going to round these by eight. And finally, as we've done previously, double click on the outer edge, swivel to the bottom of the design, hold control, double click, and then we can edit the rounds of the entire shape. I'm going to hit space and type three. So this is our enclosure with a series of rounded edges.